Hello, my name is Fran Sands. Welcome to my boxing coach. Um, at the end of this video, I want you to be thinking differently about combos, about boxing combinations. I want you to be thinking that they are not just about punches. And a quick definition, a boxing combo is a sequence of skills that involves at least two punches. Now, these are not just beginner combos in that you learn them and then there's something you forget about. These combinations are the kind of things that just underpin a boxing style for the long term. But let me dispel a myth or two here. Um, we are not going to be learning about hooks in this video. We're not going to be learning about uppercuts. This is about good, clean, simple combinations that work to, in the long term and are critical to a good boxing style. That's what you're going to get at the end of this video. Before we get started, why don't you join the thousands of others who've downloaded the book, The Beginner Boxer Toolkit. Um, I've packed a load of stuff in there for you. How to set up your own home gym, the 10 core skills, how to build the proper heavy bag workout, shadow boxing, the right mindset. There's a huge amount in there. It will be something you come back to again and again. There's a link down below. There will be a link at the end. Okay. I mentioned a... Uh, definition of a boxing combo sometimes we can get wrapped up in just thinking of combinations as as a load of punches um, but I like to think of them a bit differently I like to think that you attach a series of skills together and within that sequence there are at least two punches that allows you to be more dynamic in your boxing in, in, in building your boxing combinations okay it makes them more effective it makes you more difficult to catch during those combinations. Let's get straight in. Boxing combo one, the double jab. Um, now, let's work through what a single jab is. Lying on the floor in my boxing stance goes from the toe to the heel, single jab, push off that front foot, hip goes round, arm goes out, travels along the same line and then comes straight back. Straight out and straight back. You'll notice there's a little rotation of my body. Okay. What that means is that I'm maximising the length of the shot without overreaching. If the shot falls short, big deal. I'm also making sure that my elbow doesn't lift. Rotation there. And when we bring the arm back, a lot of people do this. Now, this is particularly a problem when they start doing a double jab. So a double jab. Can we talk about it just as being one, two? Okay, well, that's fine when we're, when we're looking to, to maximise, uh, when we're looking to learn the shots. One two straight out straight back um, and as i said about what we'll find with beginners is that when they retrieve that jab their body opens up so try and ensure that we just come back to there no elbow lift and um, keep it nice and clean however it's very rarely that you see a double jab thrown from a static position sometimes in the heavyweights because they tend to not be as much about footwork as a general rule um, as you go down the weight, double jabs are usually done either in an offensive way or a defensive way, i.e. either going forwards or going backwards. And this is where when you connect these skills together, this is where little faults can creep in. So, if we're going to go forward at the double jab, as the jab goes, front leg goes out. I'll show you two ways of doing this. So you've got one, two. Okay? One, two. Or you can build up the speed a little bit and you push off. So that leg triggers the jab. That leg pushes us forward. Right? What you'll find here, be aware that as you go forward, you don't lose that line of the, of the back leg with the front leg. Really important to keep that offset. See the black line on the floor goes from the toe on the front foot to the heel on the back foot. So it's one two same principle when we go backwards as we throw the jab the back leg goes out retrieve out retrieve so you've got one two nice and simple one two as you're building that up be really aware don't flare the elbow when you're going backwards don't let the front foot do that it's a really common fault when people go backwards Point being, that's two shots and you've got skills, a footwork skill that supports the two punches. Double jab, 
sou pouco chegado. Okay. Don't have that happen. Lots of people do that with the double jab. Elbow stays up. Lose the integrity of the shot. Out, back, out, back. Okay, double jab. Clean, simple. That's your first combo. Second combo is the one-two. Uh, let's work through the, the technique of it again. So we've got the jab. We've just gone through that. We'll go through it again. Now, if you want to throw a one-two, make sure, as whenever you throw a right hand, the shot starts from the back foot, drives lots of hip rotation. So you drive there, that hip goes right round, and that's the shot when it lands. So what you've got is, again, no elbow flare. Elbow follows the line of the fist. Okay, drive off the back leg. That drive is really important. The front leg has to bend to accommodate the rotation of the hips. If you don't get the rotation, look at the difference in length. So if I throw a jab and then I throw an under rotated right, it's six inches shorter because my hips haven't gone round. One, two. Yeah? Drive off the rear leg. If the front leg locks, that will lock the rotation. So keep that front leg bent, let the front leg bend. So that's the simple one too. But again, and you can throw that from a static position. It's great, bang, bang. But let's think about movement, same principle. One, two. Go forwards. One, two. That's one way of doing it. Second way, move forward with the jab and then the backhand. You've got one, two. And at speed, same again. Line on the floor going from the toe to the heel, plenty of rotation. Same going backwards. I'll just show you that from the side going forward. We're only going this far. When we move forward. One, two. One, two. Yeah? Going backwards. As you do the jab, push off the front leg, drive yourself backwards. One, two. One, two. So they're the drills, forwards, backwards. So we've done the double jab, we've done the one, two. Don't lose the hip rotation. Let's think about it interconnecting other skills. We're also now going to introduce the concept of flow and count contra flow, or counter flow as I call it. First one, we're going to work on counter flow. Jab, lay back, jab. One, two, three. From the side. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now, the layback is a great skill. Your feet stay at long range. You throw the jab, one comes back. That little layback, any jab falls short, you come back in with your second jab. Now, the reason I like this particular combination for beginners is that it teaches you discipline. One, two, three. The body mechanics are such that it doesn't flow, if you like. One, two, three. So you, you require discipline to maintain the body form as you do it. It's a good practice. So what about flow? Well, let's move on to combination four. Combination four, jab, lay back, backhand. One, two, three. One, two, three. Up on that side. One, two, three. Again, you can see elbows are staying in, no flappy elbows, but that's got more flow. Jab, lay back, stored energy in this leg, bang, you build up power for that final backhand. Combination three is about contra flow, that is about flow, because all of the mechanics lend themselves to the flow of the punches. And then the final combination, combination number five. We've, all of the stuff we've done, then four combinations, are all about straight line stuff. Well, let's introduce a little bit of lateral. You can go either way. Jab, push to the sides, 
just backhand. And of course you can build up more, I've just done a one, two. One, two. Well that side, one, push off that leg, go across, two. So you're taking yourself off the centre line. You can also of course do the angled side step. One, two. So you can see the line on the floor would, would go that way. So I'm keeping the opponent in front of me whilst I've moved off to the side. Same works the other way. Right? Keep the shots clean. But that's lateral movement. There's the five combos. What if we added a feint in front of all of them? Feint double jab. Feint double jab. Feint on two. Yeah, you can do that for all of them. Feint jab, lay back. Feint jab, lay back, jab. Feint jab, lay back, backhand. It works. Feint cross, bang. Exchange either the first shot for the feint or as a feint in front of the first shot. In front of combos one, two and five, the double jab. What if you do a duck as you do it? Combine another skill. Jab, duck, jab. Duck, jab, jab. Jab, duck, backhand. You see the point? You've had two simple additional skills and all of a sudden it makes those combos slightly different. Small habits. I have a concept called kettle time boxing. Two minutes here, two minutes there. Try those combos. The more you do, the better you get. You build the body, sort of the body mechanics, you build the muscle memory. It becomes more natural. Two minutes here, two minutes there. That's it. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to download your book. Go to the link here and get that book straight into your inbox. Okay, look after yourself, I'll see you next time.